I think I defend all right when I'm not rushing. And when the AI do doesn't take me. You just have to know when to control a guy and press square. Don't overdo that one. Like I just did there. Situations like this, I just hold R2. See? No matter what he did, I just hold R2. If he slows down, I'm holding R2. But yeah, dude, against one, two guys, don't go to the guy. Like, he's on the ball. I'm not going to press him. You got to anticipate. Read his next step, like I did right there. Now, I didn't care he was on the ball. I selected the guy. All right, let, let me make this simple, dude. I don't want to waste my post time. Your opponent's on the ball. You're supposed to try to block passing lanes. If he's on the ball, think about the next guy as close to him he's going to pass to. Try to block that passing lane. Don't randomly just press the guy on the ball. Again, right here I'm controlling Valverde. And now I'm going to switch to Van Dyke. And I am pressing square right now. If he goes to the flank, I'm going to the box. But no matter how good he defends, sometimes she happens. Usually if somebody goes to the flank, unless I'm close to him, I just let the AI do this job. Your eyes should be always on the center of the pitch, really. The thing is not the buttons that you need to see, it's what I'm doing, really. And if you watch it, not just me, many other streamers. If I'm controlling a guy at the back, I am pressing square most of the time, but not overly doing that. There's a lot I can say in terms of defending, dude, but I really need to win this game. Can't afford a live tutorial. See, don't do that. Don't do that. Another thing in this scenario, just square it, man. Just fucking square it. If somebody's going red mentality, don't do short passes in your own half too much. Loft them. Boom, square it. Always pay attention. If your opponent's going red mentality, try not to do a lot of short passes in your own half. Always look at the ray dive for your wide option and loft it. Corner kick, I just bring a tall guy here. I don't really care what he's doing. And I usually clear it manually, unless I get a chance like this, which I don't need to. He's just afraid of being exposed when he says he pressed some button and that he didn't do that. That could be one of the reasons, actually, Spooky. At least sometimes you have an excuse there, right? When I actually connect my controller to the PC, obviously I have to con connect my controller to the PC to use that app. It actually mutes my game uh, game sound for some reason as well. I mean, I did that for my YouTube videos. It's easier to make a story with that. Are you ever gonna fucking score, Lukaku? Like, ever? Otherwise, that could be good, man. There are games where anger judges, you know, anger most of the time really do, does, uh, what's the word? Anger clouds his judgment. Why do you think sometime I come back from a bad stream into a better one? I rewatch my game and I analyze it. I tell you guys what I did wrong, you know? There are certain games I might fucking lose my shit. But then when I watch it back, I did so many passing mistakes that cost me the game. Just saying. Like 
against this guy, my defense is all over the place. The most important thing is really kickoff. If somebody passes back to do that long ball, just select the defender with the right stick. Switch with your right stick. Flick the right stick. That's easy to stop. What is hard is somebody doing one twos from kickoff trying to break you. Again, with that, the passer will make a run. So stick with the passer. Don't fall for one twos, man. I think that's pretty obvious. Now let's get a fucking goal. Again, I just controlled Kurabali and press square. And by the way, another thing. Never select your defense until your opponent reaches your own half. Well, that's what I do anyway. And it works most of the time. Against a long bowler, that's different. But if somebody's slowing down in his, in his own half, don't select your defense. Only select your defense with the right stick, like flick it, if he comes into your half. That's in a slower build-up, obviously. He's good in the air, Bandy. I don't know if he's on A form this week, but dude, consistently guys like putting him on in the air, just in the box, turn and boom. He's consistently delivering, man. What, what other strikers do you good with, Bandy? Apart from the obvious one, like Mbappe, Ronaldo, Bamian. You just gotta figure out what's your weak spot for striker's individual ability. Like is it balance, physical contact, dribbling, touch, pass? Just gotta figure it out. Yeah, losing to Nil and Skillin, that's yeah. And that's how it's done. 